Welcome back to Cheap Drum Hacks. Yeah, as you can see, I'm looking inside this bass drum that's been exposed to high moisture. It was in a basement that did not have a dehumidifier, and this is what happens. Looks like we got a little bit of mold. Top half looks okay, but the part that was on the basement floor is what got it the worst. All right, this little guy is... 18 by 16 so the plan here is to tear it apart sand that inside shell put a polyurethane sting on it to seal it up nice put some new drum heads on and see what we can do let's get at it birds are going crazy out here all right and we're back so you can see I've taken all the hardware off the drum. And I got it outside in a couple of horses. Because since we're going to do some sanding, you don't want to do that indoors. I'm going to be using 220 grit sandpaper. And as you can see, I got gloves on as well. Give you a shot there of what it looks like here in the daylight. You know, as I was pulling this apart, I was almost tempted to take this black wrap off. Because it's got its scrapes and scratches and whatnot. And just doing a whole nice stain job on it. The reason I am not going to do that, no, it's not that I'm lazy and I don't feel like it. Because I'd love to make this drum look great. But the purpose of this drum is to kind of be... You know, utilitarian. Be able to throw it in the back seat of the car, go to a jam session with a couple of buddies, and not worry about putting it in a case and protecting it. So if I went ahead and stained this whole drum, it's going to look a hell of a lot better, yes. is isn't going to do much sound-wise. But at that point now, subconsciously, you're going to want to protect it more. So you're going to be putting it in and out of cases, not to mention all the hours that I would have to invest in refinishing the outside so i'm going to leave it just the way it is it's going to continue to the original plan clean up the inside do the polyurethane get some drum heads see where we're at all right let's get going i literally have only been sanding for about a minute look at how much better this side already looks compared to that just with a little bit of sandpaper you don't want to put too much pressure on it. This is a poplar shell. You don't want to take too much off. But we're basically taking off a little layer in the wood. So we can get that nasty stuff out of there. See a difference already? I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, and we're back. Literally only took a few minutes with the 220. Look at the inside of that shell now. Actually, we got a pretty nice grain in there finished for a poplar shell. Also notice, it even has a date stamp. Like some of the older Pacific drums had. For being a little cheap drum, this drum's actually made pretty well. It's got eight lugs. The lugs have gaskets in them. So not too bad. Alright, the next step is I'm going to use this sanding block. One side is 220, bottom side is 320. I'm going to use the 320 on this just to give it my final finish. Use a blue shop towel just to get the dust off. We're going to be ready for some stain. Well, on my way to Wally World, polyurethane I had from last year, didn't make sure to keep it indoors in the basement, but apparently it did not make the season. I opened it up and it looked purple. Yikes. Needless to say, I'm not going to be using that one. Let's go see what we can find at Wally World. <sighs> Am I the only one that's got to take a deep breath? We're going into this place. All right, let's get to it. 
All right, that went a lot better than I thought. Rustoleum stain was actually being clearance. It's three bucks for that little guy. That's a half a pint. A couple of paint brushes, a buck each. Total of five thirty-one spent. Very nice. And you want to know what the best part of this trip was? I did not have to see anybody's butt crack. I'm going to call that a W. All right, let's go back and finish this up. All right, this is what we're using. Rust-Oleum Wood Stain. It says, dries in one hour. Achieve color in one coat. Uh, it looks dark there, but I'm sure as I start to apply it, It'll look more like itself. I'm going to use this little brush here to do this outside perimeter rim. This little piece here as well as the bearing edge. Once I do that all the way around, I'll flip the drum, do the same thing, then hit the inside with this guy. Alright, let's get to it. All right, I already did that bottom lip, bearing edge. I already did this top here. Starting to do the drum. Look how nice that wood grain's coming through just by the little bit of stain. Show you here, I'm applying this. Basically simple, like you're painting anything else. Uh, you see I'll go over the same spot multiple times and that's just to make sure the stain is well thinned out so it doesn't want to run on you. It's one thing you do not want because if this runs down there's a chance that it will absorb in the wood and you will not be able to get that run out of there. And just keep applying it going back and forth to seal it in good. Look at that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this out, then show you guys so you can see what it looks like. All right, we got the hoe inside of the drum done. Look at that wood grain. Not too shabby. All right, I know the can said one hour cure time. I'm actually going to let this guy sit overnight. Give it 24 hours. And I'm going to come back out here. We're going to put the hardware on, put the drum heads on, and see what we got. All right, everybody. I got the drum. Two days later, I let it dry for two days just to be on the safe side. Did put the hardware on, but I wanted to show you guys the inside of the shell before I put the drum heads on. Out here in the sunlight... Look how nice that sucker came out. You would think this was factory made. Look at that, just a little bit of time. This little sucker is going to be a nice little workhorse. Alright, I'm going to put the drum heads on just so you guys can see the finished product all together. Like I said, this is going to be something that I'm going to use for short gigs like in other words if you're playing a set that's only 30 45 minutes an hour that's what this guy's my idea for it was but let me go ahead and wrap it up here so you guys can see what it looks like all right here we got the finished product i had to bring it inside because the wind is crazy out there today went with an aquarium rezo head put in a four inch port Decided to go with the black one so it can match the drum. So you can see you got the sound ring dampener. On the other side we got an Evans EMAD. So this will give me some good volume if I want to play it open without putting anything inside of it. If I need to make it quiet, you can easily put a hoodie in there or a towel or something. 
this is it guys simple way make that shell look nice in there look at that flip it around got the e-mat on the other side hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please consider subscribing and give me a like thanks catch you guys on the next one